Hello, my name is Eric, a member of the support team here at Prototech. In today's video, we're going to take a look at 5-axis drilling. To start, I'd use my normal drill toolpath. I control click on the walls of the holes that I want to drill. Notice this selects them all, and there are, some of these are already processed. I can delete, and if I control shift click on the wall of the hole, I only get the ones that are in the same plane. This will take a few selections. I do need my arrows aimed towards how I want to exit the hole or the Z positive direction of the cut. I finish my geometry selection, select my tool, pick my can cycle, and then here is where I change it to five axis drilling. Now for this, it is important that I pick the walls of the holes. That is how it determines the tilt angle for the tool. I'm going to use calculate my depths from the holes and lines. That means my depth is how far from the bottom of the hole. I'm going to run some tip comp to go extra. The 5-axis drill toolpath allows me to drill all these holes in one toolpath without the need to build any planes. Now the transition between rotations can sometimes be tricky. Maybe I want to go all the way home before rotating. If I want to be more efficient and stay close to the part, I have options for that as well. I'm going to edit the toolpath and I'm going to go into safety zone. This is an option in the 5-axis drilling. I can define a shape. A handy one here is a wrap. I'm saying stay basically a half inch away from my model. It's kind of like I wrapped cellophane around the part but then ballooned it out by a half inch. That completes my 5-axis drill toolpath. We hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to catch the videos as soon as they're released.